Welcome to this very unprofessional tutorial on how to open and inspect a Model S and Model X key fob. My key fob stopped working a few months ago and at first I thought it was the battery that had to be replaced but actually after checking uh, two or three batteries I realized that the, the key fob was completely dead and I couldn't realize what went wrong with it. So I started Googling uh, for a solution and I was looking on YouTube for videos on how to open the key fob, but apparently I couldn't find any. And this is why we are here. So in order to open the key fob without damaging it, uh, I, I'm gonna use, I'm going to use um, pen caps. The idea is to slide the pen cap under the plastic so that we do not break the clips. So use two of them and get your way through. One side is off, one two, three, four clipping points and let's take off also the other side. There we go. Now we have these four clipping points. We want to lift them without breaking them in order to access the motherboard. So we're going to lift in two points, one is here, and the other one is here, and it's open. Now we just put our cap here, and that's it. Here are the buttons, you twist. Because otherwise you're gonna lose them. And here is our key fob open. As you can see, you can inspect the motherboard and check if there is any burnt circuit. But apparently this one looks okay. The buttons are working. So at this point, what happened to my key fob? Why I couldn't get any power with it is that. This golden contact here, let me get a good angle, great. This golden contact was not touching this metal part here. This was bent inwards. So after inspecting this metal part and this metal part, I have realized that by removing this contact, which is basically the one that gets in touch with the battery, I had to lift a bit this part, which was bent inward. So this one I lifted upward. I put it back inside, let's lift it a bit, Rent. okay, we put it back in place, back, like that, so that you can see that now is coming out a bit, which is what we want, because we want this part to get in touch with this golden plated part. Like this. So at this point, 
after checking also, sorry, forgot to show you, also this part can be taken off and you can check if also these contacts are clean before putting it back in place. And at this point you're supposed to be good to go. You can reassemble the key fob, take your buttons, put them back in place, one, two, and three. The other side. Okie dokie, great. Then you take your key fob motherboard and there you go. Good. Now I take my case, put it back together, clip it one, two, three, four. Seems good. Let's put the sides back. Oh. Yes, right side. Duck. And there we go. Now, battery back in. good to go. Thank you for watching. I hope this will help you with your key fob problems.